Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today we're going to be talking about Miss Brittany Renner. So Brittany Renner has really exploded over the last few years, man, with the way that she's been moving, with the things that she's been saying, and with the things that she has been posting and putting on social media. And she has gained a lot of attention. Which I'm not mad. The only thing that I always say is keep that same energy. With whatever results that you get from the things that you say and the things that you post. Be willing to take whatever comes along with that. So if you put yourself out there in front of the media, then you should be willing to take whatever comes with that. So what I believe has happened to Brittany Renner is the exact same thing that's happening to most modern day women that have hit that wall, which is they thought that they can live their life and do whatever the hell they wanted to do and didn't have to worry about any consequences and repercussions behind their actions. And life itself is just basically showing and humbling all of these women that you cannot do whatever the hell it is that you want to do and not suffer the consequences from that. I want to have fun. This is my playground. I accept it as it comes. Hey, you know what? Like, I'm going to have fun. I have a great sense of humor. I can take a joke. I can take a dick. And let's just keep it moving. No. To a housewife. Good. Because I'm both. I don't have to choose. That's the floor, baby. What's up, bitch? <laughs> So why are we why are we babying men who make decisions for themselves? I like I told you, I was on birth control up until I had a conversation with my baby father. So what do you so what do you think happened? So the I imagine like I, like I got a women. leg lock him. No, let me the like, stop yourself. Men and stop women it. Are different. No, stop. No, you it's because men and women are held to different standards. Y'all wanna look at a 20-year-old who wanted to fuck. I was 26 when I met him. You wanna fuck with me? Here's what it is. Nope, like, stop acting like someone had to pull the wool over his eyes. I was exactly who I am right now. And to, let, stop, let me finish. I'm not even saying there was, there, I, I have no reason to be, I, I have no reason to lie about any, anything that I've done or the person that I am. And I believe in full transparency. The, the ideal relationship to me is to my, for my partner to know everything about me. So please stop playing this victim narrative. If you wanted to just me and just say, okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, I do not disagree with her on some of the things that she said. I am a firm believer in taking accountability for your actions. And yes, he was old enough to make that decision. And I guess I can trust what she said, that they actually had the conversation beforehand and he already knew the risk getting into it. Okay, cool. I respect that. But on the same hand, you need to be able to take full accountability for your actions as well. So if you put yourself out here in front of the media, because people absolutely love all the good and positive things that happen when you start getting those clicks, those likes, those views, that money, that attention, they absolutely love it and they eat it up. It's like a drug. They can't get enough of it. But you got to be willing to take everything that comes with it. Men decide that they don't want to mess with you because of your reputation. Then you need to be able to take that too. Because that's what comes along with the image that you have painted for yourself. Blame them though. And let's, let's, keep, it, let's keep it funky now. Okay, okay, let's okay. keep it funky. Like, blame them for I'm, what? I'm, I'm Cam Newton, right? Okay. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm not about to hit no DM with no Britney talking about, hey, yo, what's good? What's popping? Where you at? You in Atlanta? I see you in Atlanta. Boom. Why slide not? through. But why not? Because I don't want to end up in your book. So my first Rolling Loud I did in 2019 is when I first saw you. Yeah. And you were actually, Will and I worked together, and you were the only person that I wanted to see the entire festival. And today in 2022, it still rings true. You were the only person I wanted to see. You like, did you like what you saw? I actually loved it. I actually love what I'm seeing now. Oh, Performance. Ah, oh, here we go again. But Kanye Praise West, God. you did amazing. God. Praise God. <laughs> you look amazing, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank so, we're going to have to stop. Oh, no. Rejected. Rolling Loud, 2021, California. We just got Kanye West. Okay, so I have to ask because I feel like we're all kind of curious. Like, are you single or what's up? Am I single and ready to mingle? Single and mingling. Um, 
I'm not looking for nobody, but I am waiting on the right person. To I played her a little piece of our interview where you said that she was cocky. Well, come find out why I'm cocky. I'll show you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mess with Brittany Renner? Cause nah, she kind of nah, threw. Nah. I'm not attracted to her type. Oh really? Yeah, that's it. You know, I, I'm not attracted to her type. It's not how she looks. It's her character that you're. Not every woman, to. every woman looks. This is this is a miracle. They got a million women women look the same as her about her. Millions of women. Like you know, if you won't make that choice, that's your choice. But that's just not my cup of tea, you know. Uh, so if she slid in your DMs and say, yo, let's just meet up, nah. You, you're going to turn that down. Vlad, I can't. Come on, bro. Like, I'm on. OK. I'm like all this right. for real. Right. Like, you know, like, she is a cancer to what I got. That's all I'm saying, <laughs> you know, I'm running. You know, I can. I don't want to be her prey, you know. I don't want that well, person. This is why I always tell men and women that your digital footprint now is everything. So you have to be careful about what you are putting online because these things can be used against you. So just be careful, men and women, the things that you do, the things that you say, the things that you post and how you move through life on a day to day basis. The more eyeballs that you have on you, the more followers, the more subscribers, the more you have to be careful about how you move. And believe me, if you are a woman and you're living this type of lifestyle that she is living, the market will pay far less for you in the long run because we don't look at this as wife material. And unfortunately, the women find out too late. They wait until they hit that wall to realize that they've made a big mistake. So I know I need to do this video. I don't want to. <laughs> Forgiveness has been a really big theme in my life. I'm gonna get through this video, but never understood when people said you forgive for you. There are a lot of people that I never even began to remotely forgive in my heart. Like Brittany to Brittany in private, still holding on to resentment. What was so hard about forgiveness for me was it seems like everybody just moves on with their life. And then here you are emotionally, you felt like you just did two tours in Afghanistan, arm blown off, forever changed by the events that happened to you. There's an acceptance part too, where there are some apologies you'll just never get. And you have to validate yourself. I choose forgiveness because I don't wanna keep looping in the same story. Because that same story, like the stories that we tell ourselves about our lives are the same stories that keep us captive. The things that happen to us shape us without a doubt, but they don't define us. Your wounds, your war wounds, it just means you showed up and you fought. And that's something to be proud of. And so the purpose of this video and the purpose of every video that I make is just trying to get people to understand that life is all about the choices that you make. And there are always going to be consequences behind those choices that you make. All right, life is about choices and trade-offs. You don't always get what you want, but you need to understand when you make a decision, when you make a choice, consequences is gonna come behind it. So I encourage everyone, men and women, understand that every decision that you make in your life is going to shape your life. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is always going to make the right choices in life. Be ready and willing to accept all consequences behind whatever action that you make. So all in all, man, I don't make these videos to put anybody down, to look down on anybody. If you didn't take anything else from these videos or from my videos, just understand that if you make that choice in private or in public, be ready and willing to take accountability for those actions, especially if you do it in public. All right. Anyway, with that being said, you guys be blessed. You be beautiful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, burberry, butternut. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. 
Canada, weather got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa, too bad was you know they roll.